Today's video sponsor is Weeble, a free online stock brokerage giving my audience six free stocks to sell for bike parts. All you got to do is click the link in my description, deposit as little as one cent into your brokerage account, and they give you all that free money. Good luck. How is it going, every... <coughs> Today's video is sponsored by my indigestion. So if you would like to uh, go down below and hit the mute button anytime you see my eyes going like this and I start going like that, like, <coughs> like right now. <coughs> anyway, welcome back to another video. Seriously, I have digestion problems and uh, I just down that burger way too fast and I sh should I restart this. Now we're balls deep now. Anyway, we have another episode of the sponsor series. And uh, right off the gate, I'm just going to let you guys know how you can enter this because I'm really bad about informing you guys on it. And all you got to do is follow uh, my brand on Instagram at boss.industries, send a YouTube link via DM to them. Or if you would like 100% to be in the series, uh, click the channel memberships, become a member. It unlocks a link to the Discord, become the Discord, then there's a sponsor series section. That's 100% guaranteed. And last, before we get started, you're probably going to be hearing a lot of hammering out there. There is, uh, they're like working on the stairs. I live on the top floor and like they're like, it's the top of the stairs and they've been working on it. Like they deattached the entire fucking staircase. So <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> today's video is actually not sponsored by my indigestion. That that's, that was a joke, but we do have some new products. And as you can see, well, I'll tell you right now, what I'm wearing right now is the, uh, the Narcos. I just finished season two which is the season finale of the last narcos narcos mexico anyway these shirts been out so <clears throat> the narco shirts they're super soft very breathable my favorite thing to ride in as you can see <coughs> we've got them right here we've also got this design the tropical hawaiian shirt just fantastic materials i swear to god these are my favorite shirts i've ever worn i'm beyond excited and proud to have these on my store and <coughs> There you have it. We got more shorts. You guys know I'm always wearing the uh, these Boss shorts. So we got more of those. We've got more t-shirts. Just, you know, more summery kind of beachy vibes. Great prices. We'll be at your door in just a couple days. Anyway, check these out. And then we've got, of course, sunglasses. We've got new flip-flops down here. We've got all sorts of hats, just like the one I'm wearing. <coughs> God, I should have like sat here for 10 minutes before starting this. Blah, 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 blah. You know, we got all this stuff. We got bucket hats. We've got, you know, the beanies. The $12 beanies are still available. They're still sitting on my shelf over there. I need them gone. They're taking up space. I've got these colors left. They're only $12. Go pick them up. Please get them out of my life. And, you know, these have been a pretty good seller lately. These are called the high roller. They're the black and gold. They just look kind of, uh, they look kind of boss, bro. You know what I mean? <clears throat> as cringy as that sounds. There they are. Let's get into the first edit i just had a really weird moment i started watching a video and I, I, we got an, a minute into it you haven't seen it uh or you're not gonna see it and it was i think i've reacted to it before but it was like this weird moment and then like it was just a weird deja vu moment i just sat for like 30 minutes and just was threw me for a loop so anyway we're gonna watch another video called uh or by william snow 417 that like that was weird anyway Excuse the loud fucking bangs outside my front door. You know, I went out to go say hi to him the other day. I gotta make, I don't even know what this is. I gotta make sure this is, this is all. I went to go say hi to him the other day and I was, I was gonna ask like, what, I mean, I know what they're doing, but I was gonna try to like, I don't know, just talk to him. And I go, hey, how's it going? And like three guys were working on the stairs and they look up and they all go, uh, just, it's a crew of Mexican guys. And they, and I was like, God damn it, they don't speak English. So then I go, like, I think I went to the storage unit or something like that. I came, like, five hours later, I came back, and I saw another guy. And uh, he looked just like a normal white guy like anybody else. So I said, hi. He didn't fucking speak English. He, nobody banging outside my front door speaks English. So I can't, like, tell him, why the fuck are you taking my stairs? Anyway, fun fact. All right, let's see if this is raw. Could be so far. Let's see. All right. I think it might be raw, so I'm going to crank this for you guys. If I can. God! Oh. Of course. Of course, there's copyright music. That looks like a cool skate park. 
Anywhere with palm trees and a skate park, I'm I'm down. What kind of artsy fartsy fucking bullshit is this? Full cab, but you didn't even full cab. Okay. Uh, I like the effort you put in to try to make this look cool, but I mean, I could go without the effects. It's just, it looks like it's lagging on the screen, but it's not. That's like what it's supposed to be doing. That's actually cool, but that would, you could have easily gone back in. That would have been way cooler. Okay, a little nose bong drop Smith. Two angles. Okay. I like the self-filmed. Man, this guy really did put a lot of work, clearly, in the filming and editing. That was cool. Man, this looks like an awesome skate park. Where is this? I'm coming to visit. Where the fuck is this skate park at? All right, got the flow. I like this video. I like it. For some reason, there's something about self-filmed edits that you guys send in that I just really like. There's something that's just an extra little, uh, I don't know. You got to work a little bit harder to make it look good, you know? Okay, so once again, he's trying to make it look cool, but I could go without this. Skater boy with the Takis. And then someone ate shit back there. <laughs> Man, this skate park looks super cool. He's still going at it. It's dark. Next day, let's go. Blue shirt, red pants, but it's fine. Could have maybe got a little bit better of an angle in this, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> I love that video. That was kind of cool. I like that. BMX edits use a lot of, like, wild transitions in between clips so i understand where he's coming from with that okay that was switch that was good too man this skate park looks like my dream skate park man that was really good and he's riding with the shades on you know people all the time come up to me when i'm riding and like damn dude this is like another level of slag slag swag when you ride with shades on and i can't ride without shades like i have to ride with my sunglasses on I i've just been doing it for years it's like my uh, that was pretty good. My eyeballs don't like it whenever I'm not when I'm outside and I don't have sunglasses on, and they. I mean, I don't know. I just wear the ones I sell in my store because the ones I sell in my store they like stay on your head really good when you're riding. So, this uh, I'm gonna come visit you, guy. We can ride together with our shades and enjoy palm trees. <clears throat> anyway, that was a great edit. I really liked that. It was good self filmed. You put a lot of effort into the filming, a lot of effort into the writing. It was clean. You know, he had a little bit of diversity in there. And then the, the skate park, the setting was just really cool. Everything about it, the editing, the filming, I liked it. It was a really good edit. Thank you, William Snow 417. 417 is my area code. Just kidding. Don't find me. Uh, this says raw. So I like it raw, folks. Sent in by T. Willie Sucks. So I am going to turn the audio up for... Oh, here we go. Oh, man. You know, if I was watching a YouTube video and someone just kept grunting and burping into the mic, I would fucking kill myself. So I apologize. I understand. I should have taken my pills. I already took one set of pills for it this morning. Anywho. Can you guys hear that banging? Hold on. I'm going to flip the mic around so you can hear it. You can definitely hear it. Coming soon, we'll we'll have a, a whole studio room. It'll be like soundproofed. And pretty much my dad's channel, you know, I talk about it sometimes. Uh, my dad and I split a YouTube channel. It's like in the legal niche. And it's actually like fucking doing really good. And it's making some money. So I think we're going to get a studio and make it a lot more professional. But it's going to be like a split studio. So it's going to be like lawyer up studio and studio for like my channel and my podcast. So that'll be look forward to that. But. It'll be in a little while. All right. Oh, shit. You can't see it. Okay. I see nipple. <laughs> okay. I like that. I like the dope. The pupper. Man, you gotta love raw footage. And it's fast paced. Yes, Ooh. Sir. Got a lot of pop on that one. I like the fast pace. This is good. What in the fuck was that? That's when you want to say you can nose manual, but you can't nose manual. I think it froze. I don't think he... I don't think he was trying to bamboo... No, it didn't freeze. You didn't land that, you sick son of a bitch. And you cased that, motherfucker. 
This is going downhill quick. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho. oh, that looks like a fun spot. Ooh, I like that. All right, redeem yourself a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, adds up. <laughs> Also, self film. I ah, mean, like I said, something about the raw and the self film. Ooh, I thought you were gonna go to manual into that bank. Solid table. Wow, those dirt jumps are fun. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Looks like you got a cool skate park too, and it's all to yourself right now. You got some flow. 180 table out of a bank. Fun fact my very first 180 table I've ever done was also out of a bank. What the fuck? I'm watching babies kiss and I'm pretty uncomfortable. Clean bar to fake. Damn son. Whoa! That was pretty cool. You manual super high. You keep it pulled way up there. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly kind of enjoy the uh, the memes in between it. Your friends getting arrested and kissing each other is debatable, but slapping bald black baby head and dancing dogs is that's right up my alley. <laughs> that actually looks fun to ride. That looks exactly like something me and Thug would ride for an entire vlog <laughs> and get like nothing done. Table, nice. Mm. Those dirt jumps look really fun. In fact, I think I'm gonna call Thug after this. Get him doing some shit. Not doing anything today. All right. That was a good edit. I really enjoyed that. You know, it's a lot more fun whenever we can actually listen to the audio. It makes it a lot more enjoyable for me and you guys. But unfortunately, I think this next one is copyrighted, so we're gonna turn it back down. Um, Jakey Boy MTB with another video. Oh, this is five minutes. So it says riding with pegs for the first time. Actually, I don't know if this is copyrighted music. What the fuck is this? I made this list. I, I saw it. this list was made a month ago. Damn near. I don't remember this. Whoa, what kind of accent do you have? What in the shit? Turn turn it up. Hip and then bang, my rear shock bracket snapped. He's not saying real fucking words. I'm almost sure of it. So that's in the hands of getting fixed down at the shop and stuff at the minute. What? What are you saying? So you can see I put some pegs on it. This is my second day riding. Is this a vlog? Did you just send me a fucking vlog? Are you kidding me? And where did my wife Down in Braddon Skate Park. What is happening? It's not what a did bad you send me? One, to be fair, for all practicing he has. So let's this see the clip. Better be raw. I'm literally gonna shoot myself in the fucking in between the eyes. Alright, so so far we've got like five feeble grinds, so that's awesome. And someone has a saw out there, that's just double awesome. Okay, feeble number 10, 11, sick, awesome, sweet. Okay, so this guy likes to feeble. All right, 12, awesome. Let's get a little, okay. This actually looks like, oh my fucking God, are you serious? This actually looks, oh my God, the skate park. I can't even get a sentence out without just saying more feebles. The skate park actually looks super fun. Looks like it's in a cool little hideaway location, if you know what I mean. Small, jibby, but well built. This looks really fun. I'd love to go to the skate park. Okay. Seems choppy. Every once in a while, the frames just like dump. Indian out. Okay, this is just not going well, to be honest. Sick transition. Manual, but drops it on the corner. Transitions again. Okay. Clipped. I saw you case. It's like super choppy. This is surely, maybe it's my computer, but I really don't think so. I can see the amount of CPU I'm using. It's like 7% for this whole thing. 
Okay, drop manual, loop out. Let's go. Pretty good. Drop manual, loop out again. Awesome. Pretty good. A big long run up. He must land this one. Boom. Slow motion, I think. Manual up the quarter. Scooter kid. Sweet. Okay, didn't land that again. Okay. What what the what is this? What is the title of this video again? BMX at it riding with pegs for the first time. Yeah, I mean, technically this is my fault. <laughs> I, I had no business putting in this into this monster series. But hey, congratulations for you for uh, riding pegs for the first time. And clearly you're good at feebles, so that's awesome. Props to you. <laughs> Props to you. Um, this looks like a fun skate park. Looks like you're having a good time. It's a good video. I like it. And uh, once again, congratulations on the feebles. <laughs> All right. Uh, how many more? You know what? We've got a, a minute and 20 left. We're balls deep. Fuck it. Let's just watch this guy. Let's just watch this guy feeble. <laughs> Why not? All right. Is, I wonder, you know, what would be a major plot twist right now? <laughs> if he did, I, I mean, this would be a pretty major plot twist. But what if he did a double peg or like a smith? That might be asking too much. Might be a little bit too ambitious, though. This is day one, dude. We don't need to, maybe we don't need to have any business doing double pegs or... You know what? So, um, fucking clickbait, dude. Did that I, You didn't use any pegs on that. <laughs> now I sound like my own comment section. I made a video the other day called uh, Riding a Backyard Skate Park with Trey Jones. And it was like, it wasn't on April Fool's because I didn't have an upload on April Fool's, but I thought it was kind of obvious. And like the thumbnail was this guy who was dressed like Trey Jones, kind of looked like him, and he was building backyard ramps. It was just like a total joke. I don't know if my camera died or if it just shut off. It was like a total joke. And um, people were like, I didn't read the comments, but I went to the skate park with those two guys I was with, and they started, they were like, dude, did you read the comments in your video? And I was like, uh-oh. You know, when people say that, I'm like, oh, shit. So they were reading them, and they weren't, like, terrible. But there was a lot of people who were, like, genuinely, that was a fine video, I guess. Uh, there was a lot of people genuinely upset that I put riding a backyard skate park with Trey Jones. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to pull it up. Riding backyard skate park with Trey. I spelled skate park wrong. So here it is. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Riding Backyard Skate Park with Trey Jones. I mean, it has a 95% like to dislike ratio, which is like not great, but it's not bad. I mean, it's fucking, it's clearly a joke. I mean, look at this. I mean, this guy is dressed like Trey Jones. You know, it's the Backyard Skate Park. He, we had some shots of building stuff. It's just everything about it is just cliche joke. You know what I mean? It was just a clickbait title. I thought it was... Hold, you know what? Fuck it. Let's read the comments real quick. Am I still really zoomed in? Oh, shit, I am. Oh, f oh what have I done? Oh, my God. I I'm stuck super zoomed. I can't get out of it. I have a scroll bar. Oh, no, the ads are big. Okay, I can't do this. I can't even pause it now. Okay, there we go. Shit, shit. All right, we're not going to do that. Um, And that ginger guy in there, his name's Wyatt. Someone called him Ed Sheeran, and for some reason, he did not like that, which I thought was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, next one is sent in by Miles Rides Bikes, titled Steezy Churchill and Miles Began Fall Edit. So as you can see right here, this guy is super fucking cool. And I don't... It looks like I've already liked this video. Usually, sometimes if I remember, I'll subscribe and like. But sometimes I regret, like, see, I would subscribe, but then what if I start getting a bunch of Steezy Churchill videos, you know, and I don't, don't necessarily want to see Steezy Churchill videos. All right, let's see if this has copyright music. I guarantee it does. This looks street and, uh, yeah, it does. Street equals copyright claims. Okay. Oh, damn. Steezy Churchill. Sick. Throws bike. Awesome. Bet you were doing like a fucking pull-up bar, weren't you? Street boy. Street boy! Man. Oh, you were just manually. Okay. So this film quality is already, as you can tell, super street. You want to know how I can tell? It's a dead giveaway. Because you could see the black kind of frames around this iPhone fisheye just jittering around. Not supposed to happen. Your lens is not secured. Looks like it's filmed out of a goddamn Samsung fucking smart TV. Looks horrible. So that's how you know it's street. Usually you can tell by that. <laughs> Damn, that was an unnecessarily beefy nolly. Okay. Man, my headphones are... I can hear my headphones. 
Okay. Looping around. All right. Still got that quarter. They like that thing or that bank. Warren Ollie's sweet. He just learned those. Awesome film quality again. <laughs> Whoa, that looks kind of fun. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Strap in. <laughs> oh, to nowhere. Oh, he's even got the green pegs. That grind's actually really fun. Uh, Thug was trying to learn that, so I decided to try to learn it as well, and I got it, and it was it was fun, but like I can't X up very well. It, and you know, I do a lot of bar spin X ups, but that's just like a quick little thing. I saw that crank flip, by the way. But it, X up rides, like Thug is so good at him. People are so good at him. I can't really, it hurts. I guess I'm just not that flexible. Wait a minute. Did he just 180 on, fakey hop? Oh, he fakey hopped off. I thought he fakey hops back onto it. Psych. Got a tennis ball in the back, spokes, green pegs, blue pedals, four piece bars, lots of stickers. What is this, a bike roast? I don't know. It's just street of shit, son. Bar pad. I think we'd get along just fine. <laughs> uh, making fun of, uh, well, you know what? The fuck is this? Panza needs your help. Cap. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. I think that's all we have. Just a short little episode. I haven't made one of these in a little while, and it's raining today, so I figured I would just make a sponsor series. Like I said, if you'd like to join the series, click the link in the description. Join the channel membership that unlocks the Discord. You're 100% guaranteed into it. Whether it's copyrighted, whether it sucks, whether it's great, whatever, you're always in. Or just follow my brand uh, at Boss Industries on Instagram. Send them a DM YouTube link. Of course, we've got merch for you guys. Uh, we've got glasses, hats, shirts, all sorts of good stuff. And uh, if you are going to buy merch, let me give you a little life hack here. If you're going to buy merch, you also get a discount code for merch. So if you join a membership, which is just a couple bucks, not only do you get access to the private Discord and you can get into the series and stuff like that, you get a discount code. So if you plan on buying one of these shirts, if you spend a couple bucks on the membership to receive the 15% off discount code, you're actually going to save money by becoming a member if you're going to buy a shirt. So anyway, I will see you guys later. Thank you, Indigestion, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out. Let me... Uh, have, have a good roast. Anyway, uh, I'll see you boys in the streets.